the hardest, the craziest my GM I can come up with. No, Sassy Molassi NXT 2.0, what are you doing? No! What a roster there. Penelope Perfect wins there in a one-star match. Uh, again, it's early days. We still gotta, we're building up. We're building up our, our roster from, from scratch here. What's going on, guys? My name is Matt, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be continuing the Mission Impossible My GM series, where we're only using local jobber talents. They are all set to specialists, and we have a money cap that we've set in play for ourselves as well. So it, uh, it's been pretty difficult, as, as you can imagine, for the first uh, five weeks, but we are sitting in fourth and we can only go up from here. Before we take a look at where uh, where we're sitting in the season so far, we uh, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the on this channel. And uh, like we're I'm continuing from last episode, drop a comment down below of who your favorite wrestler is, because once we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark on this channel, I'll be doing a draw, and some some lucky person who leaves a comment down below will win a free uh, piece of merch from their favorite wrestler. And while you're in the comments, also let me know, I want to know, this is kind of the question of the day, would you want to see the live uh, the live reactions or the live uh, uh, matches from this series? Like, we'll jump in and spectate uh, uh, main events of a PLE. Let me know down in the comments below. If I get an, enough yes answers, maybe we'll change the format a little bit and start showing those. But without any further ado, let's jump in to this video. So as you can see it here in season one, we are currently in fourth. There's a little bit of a cluster down there from uh, the second to fourth rank. And NXT in last episode, they had a fantastic PLE and jumped way ahead of everybody else. So they, uh, they are currently sitting in first place and I think by a pretty good margin as well. So we have some work to do uh, this episode. You can see there the revenue, we are, or the, the budget, we are at uh, just under 1.4 mil. The budget cap we have set for ourselves is we can never go under $500,000 or it's, it's immediate over automatic disqualification for us and uh, that's when we call it. So we are getting, we're inching closer. I think we've lost about that amount, $500,000 since the start of the, the season trying to keep up with all the other, uh, other guys shows. At the end of last episode, we'll jump and take a look at our managed roster. We got a, a special card or a special offer from Triple H basically saying that Clay Cortman and Adrian Buck had to take the week off, but they got substantial stamina boosts. And you can't really see it behind there, but Clay is now at 69 and Adrian Buck now at 81 stamina. They're both like in the low 30s, if not even worse from, from uh, the PLE. So this is, will be nice. And I did notice something that we can take notes on, again, on my GM. Cash Suplex was against uh, Adrian Buck in the PLE, but there was a run-in, so it didn't cancel the rivalry, or it didn't complete the rivalry. So that is still going, so that'll probably be stale, but when Buck is available again, we'll probably do a submission match to get that, uh, to have that paid off, and it should give us a pretty good boost for, uh, for that show, which is leading into the PLE. So that is good. We had the injury to Heath Manhattan, which is not good. So we'll go, uh, I have a few power cards that can get him uh, get him back sooner rather than later. So we'll play the injury two because he's five. So we'll do this here. So he wouldn't be able to be used anyway. So we'll play that one and next we can, we can play this and he'll be ready and uh, he'll be ready to go just like that. So that is good. While we're in the power cards, I might as well definitely gonna buy this. This is, this is what's been adding up the power cards and uh, and, and the match uh, and the match uh, types. So we'll see here. We'll go to high school gym. Perfect. This is available, so we'll get that. And then let's, so this is what uh, well, one special match type. That's no problem. And then we also had here. We want have your most popular available female face and heel fight each other this week. And we'll get it to the moon card, which for us is absolutely uh, huge. And then as well, we also had. Um, uh, we'll actually go to sign in free agents, which we do have Nick Nosedive here on a permanent deal, so that's good. Adding another specialist, of course, to our roster. And, of course, a local talent. So we have that. Sign him for sure. We also have the shakeup card from last episode, where now everybody's mic skills should either be three or four. I'm not sure, but it gave everybody who is a specialist a plus three of... Uh, of promo skill so that is absolutely huge so we'll just check here yeah olaf at four i think everyone should be at four now whitney at five this is great stuff so what we have to do to make triple h happy is we're going to do a singles match between these two both their staminas are low and uh hopefully there's no injury we're going to go ahead and play 
the pre-match physio on our champ here, Whitney Quaid. So hopefully she doesn't go down injured. And she also needs to start a new feud for that uh, main title. So we'll put that here. So that makes Triple H happy. And to get that to the moon card, which is good. We'll leave it as a normal match. Nothing special. We have the level 3 rivalry of... Uh, Carolina Reaper and Ignition, so that's good. Hopefully, they're both, their popularity is pretty low, both. Yeah, they're 30 and 34. So hopefully, uh, this a backstage brawl could help that. We'll get some, oh, and it's uh, Reaper's match specialty. Good to know, good to know. And then we also want to do, Christina Fury wants a match to prove herself. And she can go, she's a face and f she could go up against Ali Brawler if we want. But I don't want her to get injured. So not just yet. We're going to put her... And this, is, and this is Cinnamon Garrett. She joined us for free for 10 weeks. So we'll, we can do that. Um, maybe make that a backstage brawl as well. Just to get some get some fans. It is. It's very costly. Like the backstage brawls are very costly. Um, and it's starting, to, it's starting to show. Because we're not making that much money off of these uh, things. But it's to keep us in the race for the, for the fans. So, and then for the main event, Manhattan's injured, and we probably wouldn't want uh, Chester in there anyway, but uh, the Intercontinental Champion doing well. Oh no, that's what we can do. This is, this is the uh, main event. We finally have enough males on our roster to do a tag team title feud. So we have uh, doing the two big guys, I think, here in, uh, yeah, and Triton and Orlovsky. Orlovsky's stamina is not that great, so hopefully this is okay against... What we could we could do the double champ. No, but his stamina's bad too. Lurch and we could do Nicholas Mann because we're gonna need cash to pay off. Uh, well, actually, if we do that, um, you know, we'll go ahead and do uh, we'll do Nicholas Mann for the tag team titles in a Extreme Rules medium. Uh, this is not going to be great. I can tell you that for free. But uh, <laughs> we'll have a go with it. And I think that should be okay. Who is left? We can have... Chester is still not injured. So he can actually call out the injured... Uh, where are you? Manhattan to keep that rivalry going. Promo scale 5 now. Let's go. We can have... We can have... Um... We can get, I want to get something else started here. We can do Billy Slugger. She's, she's a face, right? Billy Slugger can call out the former champion, Ali Brawler. Get that going. And then in a charity promo to help, help us gain a few extra fans, we can maybe have the new Nick Nosedive go at it because I want these three to recover. So yeah, we'll do uh, the new uh, new uh, new assigning Nick. Oh, actually, that doesn't make any sense. His promo skill didn't get it affected. Did uh, cash suplex? Of course, cash gonna get uh, cash for charity. It's all it's all written right there. Perfect. So this show is already costing two hundred sixty-one thousand, which is again not ideal, but at the same time, that's fine. Like we'll go. We fulfilled this. We fulfilled this. That's good. The to the moon card will help a lot. That will help um, Sammy Vortex. I, oh no, I can choose to the moon, which is good. Because I still do have, I think I have another, yeah, I got another beginner's luck. Got a double cost, maybe I can play that. Um, that's big, actually. I want to play that on NXT. I'm going to see, I'm going to see after this week what's, what's going on. We have the injury rehab set for, for, can I play this this week, actually? Will I be able to do it? Uh, I could. If I wanted to, I could play that this week. But he's already busy, so I'm actually I'm gonna let it happen and just see him see if he's okay. And then it might be time for the quick recovery from uh, from Tyler Breeze's card. We'll we'll see. So I think that's good for the show. We're not getting the bonus from the Fleet Center, but we we want that. We want the extra ticket sales. We want the extra uh, capacity. So we're gonna choose that. And then yeah, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go on this first uh, this first week of shows. Let's do it. Tag team titles on the line, the big main event. Hopefully that gets us something good. I mean, and I guess, of course, no injury to, o to, to Olaf. So we'll go in the opener. Carolina Reaper, in her in her preferred match type, wins it against Ignition in a two-and-a-half star match. I was hoping that was going to be a bit more. Uh, Chester calls out Heath Manhattan, so that goes level three, which that's good. 
We have Champion versus Champion and Whitney Quaid versus Daniel Wallace. And Daniel Wallace picked up the win. Hopefully there's no injury there. Two-star match rivalry was started. If we maybe look to make uh, Daniel a double champ, we'll see. Uh, Billy Slugger. Good. Uh, what just happened? How is that a level th three rivalry? That's one call out, no? Wow, okay, I'm very happy with that. Never seen that before. Christina Fury versus Cinnamon Garrett. And Garrett picks up the win. Uh, and a new rival started there. Two and a half, a two star match, not bad. Cash Suplex makes us 10,000 fans. We'd like to see that. And in the main event, Extreme Rules, don't get injured, Olaf Ostrovsky. As you are now the new tag team champion in a two star match. So that's not great. We would have obviously loved. Love something there, but uh, we got Jake the Snake versus Drew McIntyre. That's a, a crazy, uh, crazy rivalry. And the main event of Becky versus um, Charlotte Flair, that got a four and a half star, I believe, just as a normal one week. So we'll see. That's probably going to be a good rating for, for Raw. NXT got a Hell in the Cell opener of their North American champion. No title match, but against Omos. And then Big E versus MVP. So that's probably going to be a, a pretty good show there. And then tag team titles are on the line. NXT 2.0 of Robert Roode. Double champion with Seth Rollins going up against Shinsuke Nakamura and Kevin Owens. So that's probably going to be pretty solid. Women's women's title match in the, in the mid card. And in the main event. Is that another Hell in the Cell? Another Hell in the Cell there. Between... Trish Stratus and Rhea Ripley, so I had a lot to go against this weekend. Uh, as you can imagine, really not that close. So NXT did struggle a little bit. Um, see, I don't know what just happened. This says no rivalry, but on it said three rivalry, right? So we'll have to check that out. Uh, rivalry started there, started there. That's at four. So I mean, for a week for rivalries, actually, it was pretty solid, especially if this is for some reason glitched to level three. That would help out a lot. But the match match quality is not great. Um, C, we got 30,000 fans. We got, we're going to get a little extra bonus from uh, from the backstage brawls. We're going to see 20,000 20, fans from that added over in the end. So we lost 124,000, which is a bit insane. Raw made 54,000. So we're actually going to stay pretty much on pace with them after our backstage brawls. NXT did 45,000 still, even though they had a pretty low... Uh, match rating in comparison to their PLE and NXT 2.0 was 62,000. That's a big uh, a big jump for them So this is a big card for us. The to the moon is a, a big card uh, It's still NXT in first place raw has dropped to third uh, We went to second Okay, okay, let's go we are at we're in second place. This is a huge jump for us and to be perfectly honest, I wasn't expecting it that quickly. But, uh, good stuff. Yeah, way to go, SmackDown. Way to go, SmackDown. Uh, what also happened to... Oh, shh, damn, I forgot about that. Sorry, Olaf. Don't be upset or don't be injured. Because I forgot to look for that in the main event. Oh, major decrease. That is annoying. It's one of my most popular stars. I know Fury had to chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she'll be happy about this because her tag team partner lost. That's... That's what you want in a, in a tag team face also. Uh, schedule running one of your challenges, ch uh, champions. That's not the best power card, but it's something. So we'll consider that. Where is, okay, so that was a glitch. I don't know why it said promo two to three. Yeah, so nothing happened there, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, no injuries, Olofsky. Whitney Quaid, no injury, and the new rivalry started, but that will kind of cool, I think. We'll just give that a sec. Um, popularity, 93 for Adrian Buck, which is good. We can That's going to be the main event, actually, in a, in a uh, submission match with uh, Cash Suplex. we got to get Sammy Vortex involved. She's got some good stamina. I don't know why. That was a really weird... Um, that was a really weird glitch. I don't know what that was about. But uh, stamina's good here. We're, stamina not good, so we'll give... Uh, at least he's still happy, so that's, that's good. He's not as happy as he was, but that's okay. Um, how are my women's tag team champions doing? Shea Fury, low stamina. Danielle Wallace, kind of low stamina. Uh, 60 stamina, that's good. 52 popularity, and where is uh, 25 over here too? 
Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do this week. We want to get. Uh, I'll start booking the show with starting by the main event of where is Adrian Buck? It's 63 popular. It's stale, so people are not happy with that. So let's call it immediately. Do a submission match, and there we go. As for champions here, of course Clay Cortman is ready to go now, so that is good. We can have him going up against. Uh, against where are all our uh, face wrestlers I think it's time it has to be time for John the fisherman to get his chance so we can do this and John the fisherman is what here this is uh, his popularity is 30 what was the other one there was and then Nick nosedive we'll actually do nosedive here and then with an uh, inner non-title match i want to keep that on clay for sure interference from the the fish herman himself on clay courtman have uh, hopefully start that feud this they're both their stamina is really good so we can do this in a uh we can do that in extreme rules match tlc maybe tlc do i put the title on the line because it needs that boost Gonna hold off for just a second and jump over to the power cards that we got here. Not great, honestly. Not great from uh, from stuff. It's good though. We can we can actually save some money on. Uh, we we only now have uh, about six hundred thousand to spend, not the one point one million. But uh, that's okay. Gonna play the injury rehab on on Manhattan so he'll be good to go immediately but that stamina is still bro I think I have to I think I have to play the card all my yeah other than Cortman and Buck because they just got those that little power card 25 33 18 here the the Tyler uh, Breeze power card is coming to effect first gonna see if there's anyone I can I can I can hire there's stacked mix slacks let's go buddy just grab him for now, and he'll get a boost to his, his talent. is only at 60 anyway. So we'll get a boost to that. Sign this talent, and then we're going to go ahead and play the quick recovery. All your superstars immediately recover 20 stamina. So again, with, with all the with all the, the, uh, the GM power cards that are available, this was like easily the best one for us. So, uh, so yeah, now this should look a lot better. Stamina 100 there, perfect. So this can be like, could we do a, uh, could he run in on a backstage brawl? Is that a thing? You still can, okay. Again, now it's getting into the expensive, expensive card here again. That is stale. Um, that's no problem. Wallace is there. I'm gonna have the tag team matchup next week. So I'll do, I'll do, Cause I got to pace off the pay-per-view. This is annoying that this actually became something. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, we'll do this here. We'll have, try to get this one going in the end of, where are you? Uh, there, so try to get that going. And then for the other match this week, he's, al he's almost better. You're almost better, Heath, it's, uh, it's okay. So we'll have, we'll do one more call out there and then take advantage of that next week before we can get that going for the PLE, but uh, make that level four, which is good. And then the last match, this just became a level four, I believe. So we can do this. And honestly, I think this is gonna out, <sighs> is that gonna outperform that just in a singles? Because there's no rivalry here, nothing. Stamina is, I mean, the popularity is so low there. I think it will. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to put a little, little stipulation on this to not make it too expensive. We can do, and you know what? I, I can, I think, I think this will help this here. I think that is, I think that will work. At least I hope. Um, we'll go ahead and we can do a promo for Garrett calling out Fury. I'll just make sure that I'll try to make sure uh, make sure that the heels hold on uh, to the tag team titles. 
at the pay-per-view and then start something with Fury and Garrett. So we can do that. And then in the last one, maybe another charity promo. We can have our champion cut a charity promo for the time being. Everyone else is going to have the night off, which is a little bit crazy, but at the same time, it's okay to try to gain some of that st extra stamina back up for the women in the tag team feud to make that go to a level four. I'll probably do a steel cage match next week. Have that go up, but... Uh, Okay, okay, so it's, it's fine. We uh, we like that. We're gonna book some logistics. Got that bonus, which is huge. And that's the only two things available for now. So we're gonna go for it. We have another backstage brawl happening. So another 10,000 fans. I think uh, that's been playing a huge, uh, a huge part of the fact that you're even close to being number two. Uh, again, power cards, not good. Triple H, he said he wa he's happy with this. Wants a scheduled run in, which happens. We get uh, that card. Okay, and then we still do have, we still have one fixed match. We have submission, I don't, I don't think I need to play it. This is going to get, it's a level four rivalry that is going to pay off this week. I, I still think that's good. I do have the to the moon card that I can play. Um, I'm going to gauge that next week to see what will be ready by the pay-per-view. Do I want to play one of the double costs though? Um, because I do have two double costs. How are, I didn't, I got too excited and didn't take the notes. Um, uh, but NXT are ahead of us. And I don't know how much money they have. I don't even know how to check that. Is that maybe in the GM's assistance? Uh, Commissioner goal, shake up. That was huge for us. Uh, power cards, SmackDown, just played, we played two on ourselves. And uh, okay, so it doesn't show how much money that, and, it, and I'm pretty sure you can play a, a double cost on a pay-per-view, right? Yeah, so we're actually going to save that for SmackDown's pay-per-view to try to really... Or sorry, SmackDown. NXT's pay-per-view uh, there to try to really hurt them. So we'll go ahead and jump into this show. And I think I think I have this right. Hopefully this still gets a really good uh, rating because there is a level 4 rivalry in this. Ignition picks up the win. And I guess I messed that up. Uh, yeah, I messed that up pretty bad. So Jesser calls out uh, Heath Manhattan. He goes up. Man, I'm really disappointed with that. I'm really disappointed with that. Ali Brawler continues to win 1.5 star match. Also, no rivalry again. Excellent promo from Cinnamon Garrett. So I guess having this switch in the end, I guess, was the mistake. Clay Cortman still picks up the win. Yeah, and still not a great match. But hopefully, hopefully this match can save us here of Adrian Buck versus Cash Suplex in a submission match. Adrian Buck picks up the win. And only three star match. Maybe I should have played it there. But, uh, yeah, this is not looking good. This is, again, this is a stale match, so maybe it'll hurt the popularity. I mean, it has to be stale by now. But uh, it's just a normal title match, and then the main event title pictures. Again, the tag team title, that probably won't be stale. So Raw's going to have another good show. Over on NXT, uh, we have the champion Brock Lesnar teaming with AJ Styles to take on Redmond. How did they get... How, he wasn't even available for me. Red Monsoon. Okay, they're looking to make up a legend of their own. And then I think that's Sassy Molassi going for the tag team titles, uh, the women's tag team titles. So that's NXT show, NXT 2.0. Uh, one charity from Kane, so another another, uh, another legend sign. And then they have, two, they have two of my possible talents I would be able to sign in a match against each other. So at least we should uh, compete with that second mid-card match from NXT 2.0. Which is just a one star match over on NXT 2.0. But uh, we still got good booking only because the rest of the show was so bad. But um, yeah. So rivalry complete there. We'll get a little bonus fans from the uh, from the rivalry submission match. No no rivalry created there unless it was the run-in. And it's going to be, uh, that should be created. This is at level 2 which is good. This is at level four, which is good. Nothing happened there. That That's a real disappointment. That honestly is a big disappointment. And then Charity, you got us 5,000 there. So show quality D, match card quality C, 33,000 fans. That's not what you want to see. But we will be getting a 15,000. So this is basically like 48,000 fans. So that's, that's not a bad show. And we only lost $48,000, which is good. Match card quality B from Raw, so they got 49,000 fans, and then other fan bonus as well, so we'll have to watch out for Raw. 
Um, that's a good week. They lost money. I should be taking note of how much money NXT have here. After making 52,000 fans, they have just under 300,000. So I will be using the double cost on their pay-per-view to hopefully catch them. And NXT 2.0 with a 49,000 fans and just over $200,000. We got this from Triple H, which is good. Uh, Adam Pierce, yeah, still number one by a good margin. Raw is really close to us now at uh, just 5,000 fans behind. And it's uh, Kurt Angle and NXT 2.0. So <laughs> I'm not sure if this is just random, but Kurt Angle in both the series we've done so far is struggling, uh, struggling off the bat. So we are we're sitting pretty, uh, pretty good, honestly. Two weeks to WrestleMania's backlash. Hey, my contract's up of the week. I almost feel like letting that go for having such a bad match, but maybe that's on me as Booker. So, interesting for 5,000. Sure. This is another thing that's uh, a plus to the to, to the all locals slash all jobbers kind of s series here is every time their contracts are up, they get a, a little morale boost. And it's such, it's so cheap for me. I've been putting in a lot of work. I think I earned a shot at the men's title. I do too, unless <laughs> unless the, the rivalry started between the other two. But we'll say, hey boss, I'm just happy to work a uh, little partnership. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we can do that. Uh, you got yourself a partnership in the next, next three weeks, me and Lurch Evans. Okay, have at least one Hell in the Cell match and get free special effect booking. Okay, I need some... Not the power cards we were looking for again. But, uh, okay. I think I, I may have made a mistake by not playing a health spot on Heath Manhattan last week. Which could have helped out a lot. Um, we have beginner's luck, so let's just take a look at the roster. I think this is Sammy Vortex, right? Plus 15 there. Who is, uh... Okay, we can have another men's tag team title match as Olaf is back up, so that is good. Um, okay, this is at level four. This is now at level four. Okay, okay, okay. This is not, yes. Yeah, so, and then the rivalry did start there between, between uh, Fisherman and Clay Courtman. And I think this would be like a, this would be a really good matchup. So <laughs> this will be the main event. Gonna go ahead and do that. For... Uh, title but it's gonna be for actually for Adrian Buck and running interference again will be the fisherman so we'll do that um, both both these stamina's both these guys stamina's are good so we can actually kind of do it in a in a pretty an extreme rules match so I think this a title match extreme rules that should get us like a, I think at least a three which uh, I know again we're trying to get better than that but at the same time, don't really have much to work with. The women's title, tag team title feud will be first. We'll do this. So hopefully, hopefully Penelope Perfect and Christina Fury are over their little beef that they had. Um, so that will be a title match and that will be... Stamina is all good, right? Or at least better. Lowest one is 56, so should be good to go again on the pay-per-view. And we'll do this in a steel cage to add a, a bonus to their rivalry and to be a, a pretty good a pretty good uh, show. I have at least one Hell in the Cell match. So maybe I'll do that one Hell in the Cell to make Triple H happy. We'll complete the goal. Their stamina's are okay, and uh, maybe we can increase that rivalry. This is level four or level three, so that is good. We need one more to get the bonus. It could be these two in just a normal match. 44, uh, 46 stamina for Manhattan should be okay. Then we can give him the next week off. And then the men's tag team title picture. Where are you guys? There we go. Make that a title match and just normal and switch that around because I think this that should outdo it, right? You'd think. But uh, yeah, so we'll leave it like that. Pretty solid card. So far, not costing too much. Or I didn't do this yet. <laughs> now, okay, it's a little bit more expensive. 127000 I have to start taking note to see if I'm making money yet on shows. But... Um, 
Okay, for now, that's okay. I'd still do, like, worst case, I have a free arena booking, but don't want to use that now. This is going to be available next week. This is going to be available next week. Okay, or sorry. Not next week, week 10, and I'll be just for later. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I'm still... It's like I have $500,000 right now, so that is okay. And then, can I try to get something started here? I want to have... Uh, Ali Brawler and where'd she go? Billy Slugger starts something out, but I don't know why it's not starting. It's gonna be the last week I try this, and if not, just scrap it up. Hopefully, that can get to level two for next week. Both their stamina are looking pretty good, and then I guess we can do one more. Again, another. We are waiting for our women's champion Whitney Quaid to just have something fall her way, but at the moment we got, I gotta get rid of this. So we'll see, because I don't, you, you can't do submission tag matches, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, whatever. At, at the time, she her, her popularity is staying at 66, which is good. It's hurting the match quality, not having her wrestle, but at the same time, it should be okay. I'm, and I'm hoping for a lot for this match. So, that said, I think we're good to go. We'll play the double cost card next week. Did I look to see any, any free agents? Uh, there is none, uh, but that doesn't matter. The roster is a good size already. So go ahead and I think we are good to go. Confirm that. I'm really hoping that this this should get us a pretty good rating, I think, right? Three and a half, maybe even four. Let's go. And it goes to level four, which is great. They can have the week off next week and then pay it off with pay-per-view. That's going to level two. I mean, let's see if it's real this time going to level two. New tag team champions in Lurch Evans and Nicholas Mann. Okay, so that's at level two. I could have I could have done the run-in for Lurch there, but that's fine. So again, it does say this is a uh, level two. Excellent promo from Billy Slugger. That glitch was kind of weird. Oh, I don't know why I didn't put the title on this, on the line here. That would have been much better. I think that's going to cost us here. No, okay, so if this is, if this is over three, 5,000 fans from Whitney Quaid, perfect. If this is over three, this should get us a perfect curve. New champion in Adrian Buck. And a great three and a half star. So this is I, this is easily the best uh, the best episode of weekly TV we just put on. Raw dipping into another uh, a legend here in Nikki Bella, and again it's Charlotte and and Becky in that main event slot that has to be getting stale for the title. Charlotte's still champion, by the way. Um, we have MVP versus Big E in the opener, and there's a tag match of Sassy Molassi and then another another someone that we can have. I don't know who that is, but. That's annoying that she wasn't there for us to pick up. That's okay. The tag team titles are on the line there. Bobby, is that uh, yeah. Bobby Lashley putting the NXT title on the line against RVD in the mid car? Uh, this is bold to have Neon Brightstar and Sassy Molassi go up uh, in the opener. It is a TLC, but they got a one star last time. And then Rikishi versus his son Jay Uso. So that's kind of cool. But no promos again from NXT 2.0. So yeah, a, a huge mistake by NXT 2.0 to have that as an opener. They got 1.5. Um, we only got the good booking because you need at least four stars on the open and the main to get amazing. But a really good, uh, a really good week from us. We had the best opener and tie for the best main. So let's just double check on Raw. They're getting yeah, fans are growing tired of that. And it's oh, and there's an injury to Becky Lynch. Wow, that's unfortunate for them. Uh, NXT had MVP pick up an injury, so that's tough for him. And uh, that's it. And uh, that main event, yeah, 2.5 stars. This is a really good week for us, I think. So we'll check this out. Yeah, match card quality B, 48,000. So that's, I think that's like the best we've gotten so far. And we made money. So look at that. Made It's only 5,000, but we made money. Raw with the same thing. And they made 53,000 fans, so I think, I th oof, that'll be close. It's going to be like razor thin between us and Raw for second place this week. NXT with a D quality and match quality C. So we beat them, which is really good. They made 100,000 and they're going to pay for it on the PLE, so that is good. And NXT 2.0 with the worst, uh, worst of the week of 34,000 fans and 70 grand made. So free special effects booking for us. Vito Star, so I guess that was, yeah, that must have been our eight episode with um, with uh, the booking all the promo slots, so that's good. 
And uh, yeah, so NXT holds it. Raw came back. They Raw are ahead of us, not even by the hundreds. They're ahead of us by 92 fans. So that's uh, that's close there. And we're both about 25,000 fans behind NXT. So NXT still will be getting this double cost from me. Uh, Got to sign Triton here. Uh, yes, seems reasonable. 8K, no problem. My contract's over the end of SmackDown of the week. Yes, actually, because now you're just in that feud with, um, with Brawler, so I'll see to it. John the Fisherman. They have me bench for a while. What do you... Uh, I don't know if that's true. You've been on each show. Uh, sure thing. Oh, and look at this. Hey, Breeze, listen, I'm sick of working for Xavier on Raw. I should... I should have made a little... I should have made, like, a... a a tiny note in the rules that if someone came to me, I can sign them. But uh, I'm more than happy to dish my contract and come work for SmackDown. I'll do it at a discount. Uh, no chance, Cody. Sorry. Fine, you're lost. Fair enough, maybe, but uh, that's okay. Have at least one backstage brawl. Okay, I can do that. Let's see uh, how the roster and the rivalries grew. So you lost the title, but you still have a rivalry going with Fisherman. And now I need a new heel to go up against uh, Adrian Buck, and I don't have one. So that is annoying. So who is going to switch over to the dark side? I guess, well, man, or Chester could be going there, but no. You, you lost the... T uh, I could do that. I can turn Olaf heel, because he lost the tag feud, and now... We can have, we have babyface, no, we have heel champions, so then we can have stacked McSlax go up with, uh, he can, oh, that, that feud isn't over yet, though. That's true. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll figure something out here. First, what does Triple H want? Triple H wants a backstage brawl, and John the Fisherman wants a match this week. Okay. Where are you? Against Fisherman, uh, backstage brawl. That is going to cost me some money, but for now, we are Okay. Okay, and that's good. Um, free agents, I don't think. Uh, oh, Mr. Higglesby is there. Let's go. Uh, but uh, I'll, hold on, hold on, Mr. Higglesby. Again, no, no power cards for boosting up the match types, which I really kind of need. We do have what one, two, and I think there's a submission match as well that we have, or did I use it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So maybe we can use that. We're going to use the double cost on NXT. Okay, so all their special match types will be doubled. Um, and as far as we're concerned, there's the backstage brawl. They are level one, so I don't think it'll be too good, but we'll have to see what else is on this show. The ladies are taking the week off for their tag team feud. Unless I can get away with a normal match for them and then have yeah maybe I can do that I'm trying to try to do this it's not gonna be an issue for Whitney Quaid but it will be an issue for Danielle Wall so hopefully her stamina can hold up in just a normal normal match no title on the line uh, just cuz uh, I could get away with this and then pay it off at the pay-per-view someone might get injured but it could be a risk but we'll see. Hold on. Adrian Buck needs a new feud, and we need a new challenger for him. So, was Mr. Higglesby a heel or not? I don't remember. But we can get this going. Their stamina should be pretty good each, which it is. Alley Brawler's popularity is still up, which is good. Well, up. It's, <laughs> it's high for us at 56. Um, so that is good. We can do that in Extreme Rules and one more. Gotta have Adrian Buck on the show, but at the same time, he is unfortunately at a loss for for not having a opponent. So it's going to be a role change from Nick Nosedive. Yes. And then a call-out promo from Buck there on Nosedive. And then 
We do have... Did they not make the... Oh, oh yeah, okay. So then... Okay. Chester versus Manhattan. This is stale, apparently. I, uh, I don't think that should be stale, but that's interesting. So maybe I'll let them... I'll let them cool... That, or I don't know. Ah, this is interesting. I don't know what to do here. Definitely going to pay it off at the pay-per-view or the PLE next week. But at the same time, okay, so this is level two, that's level one, this is level one, this is level four. So I'm gonna get the bonus from the show. Can then just do, get another one going here between, okay, Ignition and uh, Reaper. Their popularity has gone down a lot. Could they go or are they stale also? Is stale, so that's gotta pay off as well. And I might as well go with the higher popularity guys at the moment, which is my... And I can also put the title on the line there. In a normals match, just have it be better than theirs, I think. It should be. It should be. So we'll see. It's also level four. So then in the last one, we can do a charity promo from... Popularity 50 there for the champions. That's good. Uh, it's gonna pay that's gonna pay off at the pay-per-view as well we'll do a charity from carolina reaper so the five promo skill now so that's good that's booked that's booked not available yet so i think we're good to go power cards that's fine i guess so uh yeah so we'll see um yeah i think that is good if this can get to level three this week, that would actually be huge and then pay it off next week. If that gets to two, then I can have, make sure the baby faces win the tag team titles to keep that going. Okay, so I think we, I think we have something here. I think we have something. This will be at level one, so that'll go till next PLE. Hopefully Nick Nosedive. And I can actually even play the, uh, the power card for him uh, to the moon. So that is good. We are good to go main event, even though it's a normal match. Should I boost it just to be a tables match, just to be sure? But then, uh, the, the, we'll just have the, I'm gonna do it. T title match, right? Oh, oh, that came off, so that would've been bad. Title match, extreme rules match level two, that's at level four, level one, level one in a backstage brawl, so that should perform that. Let's get it going. And there we go. Okay, so Clay Corman versus John V. Fish Herman. Clay picks up the win. And a good three-star match. I'll take that. I'll take that from a level one rivalry for sure. That uh, Nick Nosedive is now a heel. I, I even put together, what is his character? Is he a construction worker? Why does he have goggles on? And not like protective, are those protective glasses? They're definitely swimming goggles. Anyways, Whitney Quaid versus Daniel Walls. Normal match. And Daniel Walls picks up the win. That might be two in a row over... Uh, Whitney Quaid, and that's a two and a half star match normal, so that's good. You gotta keep that, you gotta pay attention to that. Bailey Slugger versus Ali Brawler, Extreme Rules match. Ali Brawler picks up the win and increases the rivalry, and it's three stars, so that is good. Get us some fans here. Not getting us some fans? Uh, oh, I did sell promo. Okay, that's fine, hopefully. Hopefully, that's fine. And then the IC title match, tables match. And Chester wins it in a great three and a half star match. You know, not a bad week. Not a bad week. Uh, okay, so that is a rivalry going on. Carmella versus Nikki. Bell, I think it's Nikki Bell. In the uh, in the main event, Cody's staying over on Raw, and Raw has signed another local talent that I didn't get a chance at. So interesting. Over on NXT, they have a tag uh, tag titles not on the line, and uh, Sensational Starla. Has 53 popularity. Look at her go. Let's go, Sensational Starla. So, NXT doing some work for me in the next draft. And they got Jody Garcia there. It was, she was a legend from uh, the w, WCW My uh, my GM series. Getting Facing off against the other Bella. So, they, the Bellas are split up on different shows. Edge versus Lashley in a rivalry here. And they're going hard. They're going hard on the Neon Bright Star and Sassy Molassi feud. That's now a Hell in the Cell in their main event. So let's see how that goes for NXT 2.0. And it's not great. So, so 
NXT 2.0 best opener and second and best first mid card match, and also tied for the other mid card match. Again, NXT 2.0 are just putting their faith in these two, and it's just unfortunately not working out for them. Uh, Seth Rollins, their new champion as well. So interesting there. We got good booking. Uh, there are no injuries to talk of. That is good. Fans growing tired of this. That will pay off at the pay per view. And it still got us 3.5 star match, which is good. So this could be a really, I, I thought it was going to be a good week for us, but 40,000 fans, not the best. Uh, we are going to get a, a little bonus from the backstage brawl, which is good. So it's actually 50,000 for us. Rotted 55, so again, they're moving ahead on us again. NXT only did 38, so us and Raw basically closed the gap again on NXT. So that's good, and NXT 2.0 with 39,000, they are still they should be still trailing behind. Limited stock, it's a good power card to get. Uh, NXT, with Adam Pierce's NXT, still in the lead just by 7,000 fans over Raw, and just over uh eighth uh, no nope, twelve thousand fans over us so we are still in third place had that nice little cup of tea in second but uh we're still looking okay we're pretty pretty clear above nxt 2.0 which is good okay clay you uh, your contract's running up i think i don't think anybody has the power to just leave because i have this power card here the extended contract so no one can just leave i don't think um so sure clay no problem for twelve thousand. these are starting to add up though I have to watch out for that. Whoever I'm not using might just, uh, I might need to let go. So we'll see. Um, I'd be interested in staying. Cost 9,000. That's fine. I'll make it happen. Uh, hey, what was you pulled last show? That was double cost for next week, isn't it? Like now? Uh, okay. The fans are going to get a little tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course. And that at a PLE. Uh, hey, Todd, you've seen the work I'm putting in. A lot more I can do for the brand. Okay. Are you asking for a main event? You are. And I think, I think, I think they can get it. Sure sounds good. Uh, hey boss, I'm talking to Carolina. I oh, think you had a great idea that we should team up. Okay, that is good. Cause we're gonna have the, f yes. Yes, this is very good. Sure. Let's see how that works out. Okay, her and Carolina, good. Have at least one Ironman match this week and it's a superstar training, which could save us some cash which is good. We can buy this now, which is 35,000, or no, sorry, it was this we can buy, which is 50,000 to unlock. I'm getting close to this, uh, to this barrier, the 500,000, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, okay, <laughs> gotta watch out for that. But let's see what we can do here. Manage roster, no one left to sign for us. What, our roster's at what? One, two, three, Oh, we're good. We have like 20, we have 23 wrestlers here. So I think this is okay. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna let Sammy Vortex go because I want to use, especially for the next PLE, the To The Moon on Nick Nosedive. So we're gonna see. So we have, uh, again, I want to check the stamina on the Tag Team Champions, 50-51. 86, so no problem there, but where's Danielle? 46, that's going to be the, the issue. Um, but the, the rivalry has already started with her and Quaid. It, it's only at level 1, which is annoying. But uh, we could have her call her out this week. 72 popularity, good. Um, okay, so... And then we did have... Ooh, Vito Star. Um, who is someone I can use this on now and not have to deal with it later? Where is... Um, did I not have a, oh, okay, I thought I did have a, a superstar training. I'll be getting one from Triple H, so that's okay. Vito Star, we'll see, I have one, right, so we'll see. And then Last Man Standing, Real Steel, I feel like I want to use one of these, but in the tag team match, but I can't. It's too bad I don't have to get the tables or a TLC. Hmm. Okay, well, 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 hold on, we'll see this here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fix this because I need the face team to win this feud. Which I know I said I'm gonna spin off with uh, Carolina Reaper again uh, and Christina Fury, but at the same time, kind of don't have a choice. The show's already costing us 55,000. 
It's gonna be tag team. Do I do steel kits? High cost. This is high cost. This is high cost. It's very high. I think I think they can pull it off. This will be. Where are they? This is the feud coming to an end. I want this to be a five star. I I gotta watch it. Gotta do it for. Um, this has to be five stars. So we're gonna go ahead and play our power card. Uh, get the steel. Hopefully, I'm not just one round of the book steel cave match on the show or some higher normal. Okay. Okay. So that should be good, and we can play a health card on Danielle uh, Wallace. Okay. Who's and then this is Christina Fury's match specialty. So that's good to know. Before I forget, we'll go and get it out of the way now. So she's gonna call out Wallace to hopefully make that level two by the start of week 11. Uh, we have other matches here. What are at level four? This is at level four. I love how that this is stale goes away because now it's PLE. So like all of a sudden it's not stale anymore. Um, so that goes there. We have another level, we have a level three here, which is good. And we had, I want that to end so bad. Um, this is gonna go here, that's gonna end. And then this is going to continue going up and it's going to be okay so we'll leave that like that i can play the to the moon power card so i i really should have done this last week but that's okay we'll do it now to the moon power card for uh permanent right yeah permanent nick knows live that's good we like to see that so he'll get a boost to 48 after this match, which is good. I think he's even going to show us what his popularity will be. Oh no, that's to the next, the next uh, screen, right? Okay. So the opener, bad stamina for all of them, but title on the line. We are going to do that. Will remain at level two, so that should be good for next week to get the bonus as well. So that's okay. We have nothing going on between these guys. Okay. Okay, so that's title on the line. This will be a extreme rules match. We can do that, the, or, or maybe even backstage brawl. Hopefully no injuries. And then this should pay off in a tables match. This should pay off in an extreme rules match. And the show is now costing us 220 or 218,000 and hold, I'm not even done yet, because I gotta do uh, some charity costs money. So, uh, Cortman and her, I can do callouts actually. Make there we go. This is actually a good idea. So they will have a higher rivalry for next week, which is good. You always want to have continuing rivalries ongoing. Never be stuck at zero. Starting a new, uh, starting a new run to the pay per view because that'll be tough to get to. And then we can do charity here from from Olaf keep him on the show and I think that should be okay title on the line uh, this will get a boost of being the title on the line that's a normal match table will this outdo that I don't know I it's it's hard to to not have to take into the, the factor of the classes and then just like is a title now better than an extreme rules match um i don't know i don't know so we could make this oh this is a ple bonus great we'll have two table matches almost we'll separate them I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do but we're doing it um so then uh gonna complete 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 gonna go to level two hopefully and stamina still should be okay and complete What's the commissioner goal? Well, I have at least uh, one Iron Man match. I can do that. I will do that. Change this to Iron Man. Very high. 20% <laughs> chance of injury. Okay, let's, uh, yeah. Let's just, someone's definitely getting hurt. So that's good. Uh, but Triple H will be happy. And I can sign one of these, uh, one, of the, one of the local talents we have permanently. So... I hope you're happy, Triple H. You're causing this injury. So let's see how this goes. All the bonuses, the optional bonuses are hit. And I think this should be a pretty good show. Anyone able to sign? No, I think I checked that already. Uh, power cards. Maybe I should just tack this on because 
it looks like something bad is happening in that opener. So we do have two health spas. I think I do have uh, one more injury rehab. I do. Um, okay. I do have last man standing. Sub uh, submission match. And I think, was there one more? Oh, I played the steel cage, so that's good. And then... Uh, yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's hope for the best here. Still have a free booking, but that's we'll play that later on when it gets more expensive. And confirm. I mean, yeah, I mean, that looks good to go. Hopefully make some good cash here, too. So in the opener, we have Chester versus Heath Manhattan. Heath is the winner in an amazing four-star match. Take that for sure. Uh, Whitney Quaid calling out uh, Danielle, so that is good. That went to level two. Carolina Reaper versus Ignition. This one is coming to a close in a tables match. Okay, two and a half star. We'd like to see that better. That's probably because their popularity has gotten so low. Uh, excellent promo here. So this is now at level three. That is good going forward. Ali Brawler versus Billy Slugger. Brawler wins again and completes a rivalry. Three and a half star. Love that. So this is at level three. That's good. She wants the shot at the tag team titles, which is coming up. Uh, I got to take a note of that. Title match, Nick Nosley versus Adrian Buck. Adrian Buck wins again. I don't think this guy's lost yet. In a four-star amazing match. This is going to be a perfect curve, I think. Get some fans for us there, Olaf. Perfect. And then... Their popularity is a little lower than I thought it was. But uh, the faces are guaranteed to win. And they're getting the boost of the Steel Cage power card. In a legendary five-star match. So that is a great ending. Hopefully Danielle is not hurt too much. But uh, in the Iron Man opener, double champion Roman Reigns against Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre versus Jake the Snake in the main event. That's Raw, and that is an expensive show from Raw. Did a, a backstage brawl. Interesting. So I'm going to take a note of NXT. Did their stuff come up? Oh yeah, here we go. So this is an expensive show for NXT. TLC is 60000 they're spending what? I guess they, then they just went all tables. That's kind of lame. If they have a really good show because all their branded thing is good and just it's all tables, that's kind of lame. Because uh, they are all tables matches except for the opener, which is TLC. That has Jody Garcia in it. Well, one way to go. And how is NXT 2.0 doing? Are they going to recover here? Again, it, I don't understand why just one show doesn't utilize promos. But in any case, they have a tables opener. And they kind of do the same thing. Tables, tables, tables. And then Kevin Owens versus... Jey Uso, why'd that happen? What happened in the Rikishi uh, feud? But an Extreme Rules match, uh, and that's an XT 2.0 show. So we'll check it. We had tied for the best opener. All of us kind of did. NXT 2.0's mid card was uh, their first, second mid card was good. We then swept the rest of the mid card and main event. So this is a really good show from us. Uh, love that, and we have this is level two rivalry, so we can keep going. If there's no injuries, who got injured here? The new champion got injured, so that's annoying. Heath Manhattan, but I kind of did that to myself. Heath Manhattan is the new champion and also injured for four weeks. That rivalry was complete and nothing uh, nothing really to say from it. This rivalry was complete, complete three and a half star match. Very happy with that. Uh, Adrian Buck again keeps on winning. Uh, rivalry did not go up though, so that's annoying. And then no injuries here, which is good and hopefully... Hopefully, uh, Danielle's got enough stamina to go up against um, our champion, Quaid, for next week. So, another good... Actually, a great show from us. So, let's see how it paid off. Show quality is still D. Match card quality, B, which is good. 145,000 fans, and we lost 20 grand. That's okay. Cause that is, that's a good number. I'm happy with that number. Raw... 164! Holy smokes! Okay. So, I'm not sure what is the... like. Is it just, I guess it's just the popularity from uh, from all those, all, all their wrestlers in, compared to ours, but uh, they lost 11,000 bucks also. NXT got quality C, so we are passing them, which is good. We're going to move into second place by the end of this episode, unless NXT 2.0 did something stupid, um, which they did not. They not didn't get the 200,000 fan boost like NXT did last uh, PLE, so it should go. I think it's going to go Raw, SmackDown, NXT, NXT 2.0. Yeah, and that's exactly how it goes. Raw putting a big gap in between us and them for um, for for first place. But we did have a big jump over NXT and NXT 
So again, it's uh, that's good. We started this episode, uh, I believe, in last. So to be ending it in second is good. We'll also take a look at our uh, shakeup card and what we get here. Uh, hey, my con, this is one we have to, uh, we definitely have to keep. Stamina eight, but he's okay, so good. Uh, Thirteen thousand, sure, no problem. Or I can just add that on there. Uh, no. I'll go sure no problem. Chester's one of the guys that's actually been. Uh, Holding it down. Popularity is 74, so pretty solid. Adrian Buck, what the hell happened to my title? He's... You're the champion. You are currently the champion. That's... Okay. Major decrease to my most popular star. So that's annoying. I don't know why that is a thing. Because he, he got the championship shot. He's currently the champion. He won the belt. That's weird. Uh, where have you been? Oh no, I forgot about Lurch Evans. Whoops. Thought I can trust you. Major decrease to Lurch Evans. Okay, so that's annoying. <laughs> um, uh, okay, the PR training, all females get plus. We don't need that now. Uh, high class resolution. Gain 10,000 fans, but lose. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Wow, none of these are good. I don't like any of these. That, uh, that is tough. 15 shows remaining. Um, wow. I don't even know what to do here. I think I might just have to take this one. Because I don't... I can gain 10,000 fans from a backstage brawl. And I guess actually then I just... Okay, so what... I don't know. I, that, so what? It's 150,000 if I pay off every... If I pay off every PLE, I pay off a rivalry. It's $150,000. So I just, I really have to watch out for that. I can, I can, I'm going to choose this so I can see this, this costing us the, the season by us going under 500000 But uh, I'm going to do it. I just added the other two. I, I don't know what, uh, what else I could do. Rest your solo primary champions. going to match Physio. That's nothing uh, important. But... Uh, Okay, so that is where we are going to call it on this episode. We are currently sitting in second place, and I'm very happy about that. Thought it would take a bit longer to get out of fourth, but uh, here we are. So um, if you've been watching uh, this far, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Uh, a like on the video, comments down below. Again, remember, comment, do you want to start seeing main events of PLEs? Uh, we can spectate that together. Uh, and just for one more going on the march to uh, 1,000 subscribers, leave a comment down below of who your favorite WWE, AEW, any, any uh, favorite wrestler they are, and you can be entered in a chance to uh, win some merch when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So don't forget about that as well. For the next episode of the Mission Impossible My GM, that'll be dropping on Friday at noon. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode coming soon.